Okay, hello. So, the helmet system. The first thing I immediately got the moment I uh, unlocked the ability to subsume a Warframe was Lava from Nidus. That is exactly how I play. It's my playstyle. I really enjoy CC. I didn't. I don't really care much for um, tanks and all that stuff and Warcry and this, that and the other. I'll definitely get them at some point. Um, but my strongest suit, the way I love to play the game, is to be use control frames like Nova, Limbo, um, Nyx, I really like CCing all the frames up, uh, all the enemies up, and that's exactly how I play. The first person I put lava on was Inneros because I'm super lazy. So when I'm not wanting to CC people and be a control, be a control freak, um, I I play Inneros, and he's so good because I just don't die and I don't have to think about things. You know, I can watch TV whilst I'm tanking a, a steel path mission. It's it's great. So the second person I was thinking. Hey, you know who who can I put lava on and just and it just clicks with that 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 person. You have Mesa, you have Protea. I watched Bro Brozeem's video on that, and I'm definitely going to put lava on on Protea. Um, I actually don't really like Protea very much, but after after seeing what lava can do with with the with the Warframe, it just makes absolute sense. So I was thinking I'm gonna put you know Limbo. So I I didn't really like Limbo at first, and I picked him up and. Still didn't like him, but what's for Steel Path? He is so so good. Like you, you, the way you build him for du duration, you know, you can you can sit in a mobile defense and just basically AFK. It's really great excavations, any defenses, any high high level Steel Path or or late late you know late run defenses or anything like that. Um, but the one thing with him is not being able to shoot outside the bubble of safety. So obviously you're inside your uh, cataclysm and you can't really shoot enemies outside it. You don't really want to venture outside because I've built purely for duration and on all the ability strength. I've got no tank. So I don't want to go outside my bubble. So what can I do? I can bring all the enemies in the bubble. And lava is so, so damn good. You can see on screen, you know, I did a solo um, still path level 140. And you can see how well it did. Um, and... It's not so much infested, because infested run at the bubble, and they keep running at the bubble, so you don't have to worry so much about infested. But Grenier tend to stand back and shoot, and so to, to the corpus, so you can't actually kill them. Um, especially for excavation missions, when you've got um, the, the, the fuel cells outside, you don't want to go outside. You can pull the enemies in, then kill them inside the safety of the bubble, and continue your day. You never have to leave the bubble at all for your, to kill enemies. So... It is purely, purely genius. Now, the build for my Limbo, as you can see, is purely duration and range. I've got no strength. My efficiency is 100%, although I could tote that down because I have Arcane Energize. Arcane Consequence for move speed because I use them for mobile defenses, so when I get a headshot, I can just fly away. Um, but this could be replaced with anything. Uh, Arcane Energize is really good, obviously. It's very expensive, hard to come by, so um, normal generic. You can see me using it in, in, the, uh, in the mission. Um, it's completely fine, and this is basically my build: Hunter Adrenaline, Organ Message, Natural Challenge uh, for car speed, which is really nice because you need that car speed for to recast your stasis so you don't die. Um, Corrosive Objection can be swapped out for Energy Siphon, and yeah, that's basically my build. All these mods are not difficult to come by. That um, normal continuity works completely fine. And this is my build. So Hunter Adrenaline, uh, the reason why it's on here is if, if I take a bit of damage, um, I can instantly recast Stasis or I can recast my ult. But this can be swapped out. This is this is a, a mod that I just prefer. Um, extra tank can be can be placed here instead. Um, and also it uh, affects my Hunter because I have a lot of Hunter mods on. And that's basically the build. And you can see that my Kuva Chak Her, this is a, a favorite of mine. I prefer it over the Brahma, especially when you're inside your bubble. Uh, this is the build for that, and it's pretty standard, and I also have a Riven, which is godly, absolutely godly. I love this Riven. I rolled it. I'm so happy about it. Um, so yeah, Lava on Limbo. It's very... Um, I thought there'd be... I thought someone else would come to mind instantly, but no, Limbo was first, and it is just it just makes life so much nicer. So yep, just a little video. So if you used to pick up a Nidus and, and subsume him... I definitely would recommend it, um, especially for Limbo and other frames. That's the build. And I will see you again soon. Peace.